from my last video, I told you that I would test direct dye cooling my 9900K with those two popular low profile coolers, the Noctua NHL9i and the Cryorix C7. Because this was a test, an experiment, so the result can be either positive or negative. To save your time and prevent people from hitting the dislike button, it was bad on both coolers. I could not use any of the two on my bare 9900K. My 9900K was running at 4.7 GHz at 1.2 volts. For the NHL9i, the PC displayed CPU overheat warning and was at 90 degrees Celsius in BIOS, not in Windows. So, no more further tests was needed for this cooler. For the Cryorix C7, I could boot into Windows, but the temperature at idle was 80 degrees. I tried to undervolt and underclock it uh, to only 4.2 GHz at 1 volt, but the idle temperature was still around 65 to 67 degrees. I stopped with the idle temp for the C7 right there because I knew if I continued testing the chip, it was still overheated. And that was the end result. If you like to see how I mount the two coolers and conduct the test, feel free to continue the video. Otherwise, well, sorry for disappointing. <laughs> Oh, that's hot! That's hot! First of all, notice how the right side is lower than the left side. It is designed to prevent the cooler from being blocked by the VRM of the motherboard, especially the ASUS Z390i. So, there's only one way to mount this cooler on this board. Besides putting liquid metal on the CPU, I also added some on the cooler. To compensate for the height, I put two washers from Rocket on each screw. Putting this cooler onto the Strix Z390i was a bit tricky. Even after I mounted on the board, I was still unsure if it's fully covered the CPU die because the VRM on the board seems to block the cooler. I'm not entirely sure, but from this camera angle, the cooler did seem to sit flat on the rocket frame. So maybe it could make contact with the die? Okay, everything is set. If doing this burn my CPU down, then I am once again asking for your financial support. Here we go. Oops. What the fuck? A few moments later. So reboot again and we have this error. CPU over temperature. Alright. Let's shut this thing down before. Okay. Let's see how hard it is. <laughs> See, okay, I need to shut this thing down, man. When I inspected the die and the cooler, there were two blobs of liquid metal on both left and right sides of the die, so I think there was contact. Just the cooler could not handle the heat produced by the chip. From the result, whether it is direct die cooling or not, 
I would avoid using this cooler on the 9900, 9900K, and the 9700K. Let's continue torturing my CPU with the Cryorix C7. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. This cooler is rated at 100 watt TDP, but we all know the i9-9900K can pull close to 170 watt, so number does not matter here. The two sides of the C7 is made better than the L9i, so we won't have trouble with the poor VRM. To mount the C7, I used two washer from Rocket and one included with the cooler. Okay, not running with my uh, graphic card because if it doesn't work, I don't want to unplug the cable and no crap. Just plug straight in the motherboard and use the integrated GPU. Okay, let's see. Fan spin 100% because uh, AIO. Temperature 33 degrees. Oh shit. Can you see that? Oh. 27. Wait, what? Frequency only 36 megahertz. I will change the fan speed. Okay, I will set it to standard and save it. Oh my god, it's quiet. Okay, we can boot to Windows with a C7 direct die. Oh my lord. Oh, freaking hell, man. That's amazing. Little did he know, it was not that amazing. Peak temperature at idle was 86 and average around 82 degrees. And the fan. The fan was hella loud. I now clocked the chip to 4.2 GHz at 1 volt just for fun, but it was still average around 67 degrees C during idle. Not only it was hot, but at 4.2 GHz, I better use my Ryzen 7 2700X instead of a 9900K. I removed the CPU cooler to check it out, hard to tell if it could make contact, but based on the temperature, I think the cooler was good for direct eye, just not with this CPU. From this video, I hope you have a clear idea about the two coolers, but for me, water will be my friend. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.